Essay point number nine. There are four different tithes described in the Bible. There are four different tithes described in the Bible. The first tithe in the Bible is called the Levitical tithe, and we've discussed that already. The first whole tithe was given by the people to the Levites who were not the priests. They were the servants of the priest. And the Levites, in turn, gave one-tenth of what they received, the best tenth of the tenth, to the priest. Therefore, the priest received one percent of the total tithe. A second tithe is called the festival tithe, or the feast tithe. This tithe was brought once a year to the streets of Jerusalem during the three annual feasts. And it was eaten in the streets of Jerusalem by all the people, and they shared it as a potluck, and they shared it with the strangers and the Levites and the priests. A third tithe is called the poor tithe, or the third year tithe. Every third year, the people were commanded to keep a, a third tithe at the homes of the individual Israelites. And they shared them with the poor and the Levites as they came around to their homes. So none of the first three tithes, the first, the Levitical tithe, the feast tithe, and the poor tithe, were taken directly to the temple by the people, and only a small portion of the first tithe ever ended up in the temple. A fourth tithe, which is actually the first, first tithe because it was the best, was the king's tithe. In 1 Samuel chapter 8, when Israel decided they wanted a king, the Bible tells us that the king would take the first and the best and the tenth, not only of the crops, but of the people and everything they had. Therefore, the king got his tithe first, and that pushes all the other three tithes a little bit further down the echelon. It is surprising that these four tithes are not mentioned from the pulpits of our churches. You hear of one tithe of 10% most of the time. And even then, the pastors want the whole first tithe, which they didn't get in the Old Testament. They want the tenth of the tithe, the best, which was only 1% of the tithe in the Old Testament. And they also want to own and inherit vast properties which tithe receivers were not allowed to own in the Old Testament. Those are the four tithes from the Old Testament.